Greetings, my name is Kathleen Lane and I'd like to welcome you to this new module called Using the Student Risk Screening Scale for Internalizing and Externalizing Behaviors in K-12 Schools. One critical piece of your CI3T model is the use of universal behavioral screening to help look for students who might be struggling and experiencing early challenges and then use those data to facilitate the implementation of evidence-based supports. And it's not just using it to connect kids to supports. These screening tools, which are very brief, proactive, routine screenings that take place fall, winter, and spring, give you the information that you need to know to see what's happening at tier one, so to look at the entire system. They also allow teachers and others to you know, unpack data, look at multiple sources of data, including screening within their class so that they could see whether or not they, it might be wise for them to build in the use of low intensity strategies to increase engagement and limit disruption. And then of course, these data can be used to look for kids who might need more than tier one has to offer. And it finds kids at the very first sign of concern so this is just one type of screening tool. There are many others. However, in this module, we're focusing on, excuse me, the student risk screening scale for internalizing and externalizing behaviors. Some call it SRSSIE and some call it the SIRSI. It has been adopted by many school psychologists and many school districts, given that it is freely available. It is intentionally brief. It is comprehensive in the sense that it allows you to detect both major challenges of childhood, internalizing and externalizing behaviors that are experienced by children and youth. And there's quite a bit of evidence from multiple research teams now on the psychometric properties, things like reliability and validity. We do wanna mention that there's a downward extension of this tool called the Student Risk Screening Scale for Early Childhood. That is a different set of items, but we wanted to make you aware of that. But in this module, we're gonna focus on the SRSSIE, which is validated for use for elementary, middle, and high school. And throughout this module, you may, you're going to find many downloadable resources that can help you to facilitate getting this screening procedure in place in your district. And if you're someone who prefers to listen, the module also includes an interactive resource that covers the same content as in the ebook, but it's in more of a multimedia format. And also remember, um, if you would like to add this to your professional learning experience to your CV, just complete the knowledge check that comes at the end of the module and you'll receive a line item in your email recognizing your completion of this experience. We hope you find this module to be helpful in supporting your efforts and look forward to hearing what you think. Thank you.